I hope you're all fortunate enough to have annual friends. What's an annual friend? Well, it's like a cousin or a family friend. Someone you see maybe once or twice a year. Like scheduled during holidays or, or maybe you just visit them at random times or they visit you at random times. Anyways, regardless of all the semantics, I just want to say cherish those people. You did? Yeah, before you even leave the parking lot. Really? How? I crashed into a code. <laughs> I have some of those people myself. You may recognize two of them pretty well. Diego and Pio have made appearances on my channel since, like, the very beginning. Sebastian, as far as I know, has not made an appearance until now. But I've known him for just about as long. These are people who watch you grow up. And the growing up itself becomes even more pronounced with these annual friends. Because you only see them a few times or once a year. You see them at one particular stage in their life, and the next one might be completely different. Cherish them while you get the chance, because soon you'll all grow up. Diego's already in college, Sebastian, Pio, and I will be leaving next year. And it's not like we're AWOL when we don't see each other, but talking through Discord and talking in person are just different. I mean, I wouldn't have this stupid video of me jumping if I hadn't seen them in person this year. Oh, I got it. Oh, you're still going. <laughs> <laughs> and like I said before, your cousins can be your annual friends too. This is Soleil, and you might have seen her a few times on this channel before too. She's a year older than me and is also going off to college this year. And I'd consider her an annual friend as well. My other cousins have been featured in my videos recently, and they too are my annual friends. I can't find another group of people who are nerdy in the same way as we are. We like playing board games together. We take hypothetical questions way too seriously. We make obscure deep cuts and we explore some of the same media. We've shared so many weird and obscure inside jokes and have definitely had our fair share of insane childish behavior. We've done a lot together, despite our short time together. And that's another beautiful thing about these annual friends. Oh, there's someone there. Oh, gosh. Oh, there, well, there's someone there. Seeing them is like an event. It's something you can get all excited about and anticipate as the date draws nearer. And my bad. <laughs> Final fantasy sponsor. Will we keep returning to our reunions once we're all in college? I'm very, very much hoping so, yeah. Even if you're not that close, or if you don't like each other, I'd encourage you to make the effort to befriend that kind of person anyways. The joy of having annual friends is just worth that challenge. By the way, an annual friend has some similarities to the long time no see friend. For me, this is Gavin and Eli, and I haven't seen them in person in seven years, but because they live near Seattle, we finally got to reunite. Yeah, good to see them again. It's good to see you, man. <laughs> Every year that passes, I'm happy to say I gain more and more friends. But as more people grow up and leave for college or careers, more and more people become annual friends too. Cherish these annual friends. They're one of life's greatest joys.